Hey, what is up, citizens? This is President Vocelli back with another episode of Pokemon Snakewood. Now, it is dark in here. Why? Because this is a dark type gym. Well, now it is. There are quite a few dark types in this region. It makes film. I make films about them. Oh, God. But yes, the Doofer gym was turned into a dark type gym, which is kind of interesting. What's even more interesting is that this is really the first. Yeah, yeah, this is really the first actual gym I've been to. I've gotten two gym badges, but kind of in roundabout ways. So anyways, uh, I definitely want to stunt spore this thing. Try to slow it down a little bit. Yes! No! You know, Joel is putting in some fine work. Those cuts are just... Just, just devastating. Oh, and now I can learn Leech Life. That is interesting. Mm, eh. Such a low, such a crappy move. And I mean, I prefer to have it than than Poison Powder. Like Poison Powder doesn't help me. Uh, Puchenya. No. And besides, it is stab. It is stab, so let's see how much it does. Wow! Buku damage! Uh, Carvana. No. No, I'm good, y'all. You know, it took a little while. It took a little while, but... Joel is finally, you know, has finally proven to be a great member of the team. And, you know, it's putting in some nice work. You know, it's just when it's facing those fire and flying types, which were kind of common early in the game. That, um, yeah, it wasn't doing too well, but, you know, you know what? You know, the thing about, like, four times weak Pokemon in, in the games is that, unfortunately, only some of them also get really powerful stats and moves. You know, like, Ferrothorn and Scizor. While other ones, well, they're just really left on the wayside. You know, for example, like, Moltres. <laughs> you know, why use a Moltres when you have freaking Mega Charizards now? Um, obviously Paris and, uh, Parasect. You know, it's just so sad. It's just so sad with those kind of weaknesses. They should have major moves. Just major, major moves and skills in order to, um, compensate for it. You know, what if, like, Parasect, you know, with its quadruple, um, fire and flying type weakness, also got an ability that let it suck HP from the opponent every turn. Like, it would be an easy wall to deal with if you have the right, if you have the right tools. But, oh my goodness, that would be devastating. You know, I think it'd be more than fair for its two quadruple weaknesses and the various other ones it has, because, oh my goodness. Oh my god, yeah, you set, like, you set up, like, Elite Seed combo with, uh, with its ability. Oh my... Mm. And with Giga Drain? Uh, that just makes me sad. Anyways, we'll get the experience to Benedict. Assuming it doesn't miss. Because Tackle... I, I don't know, to me it has a reputation of missing. Yar, my pirate power is low, it seems. <laughs> pirate power. 
I better recharge my scurvy batteries and I'll fight you again. Uh, anyways, I need to take a trip to the Pokemon Center. Alright, I'm back in this monstrosity of a gym here. Did I ever go this way? Doesn't look like it. Where am I? Yeah, this is being completely lost. Just, wow. Up oh, here we go. In the dark, no one can see my shame. Oh. Pirate Virtue... Virtue Vivo. Like, Virtue... Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, again, probably has Limber, so let's just go ahead and Leech Life. It's super effect- Oh, that's why they turned Persian into a dark type in this game. Yeah, like an episode or two ago, I was wondering... Yeah, an episode ago. No, two episodes ago. Uh, I was wondering why Persian... Uh, was... Uh, resisted my dark type attack, and that's why, so, okay. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'll switch in uh, Scrappy Dude to take a resisted dark type move. Or have that happen to me. Okay. Okay, that's fine too. Yeah, that's even more fine! That's double fine! Huh? Video game references! Uh, it doesn't really look like we're doing anything to each other, so. Ow! Dick! <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, I do need to use a super potion. If I want Scrappy Dude to take the experience. There we go. I'm a really bad pirate. Oh, crap. The dark is so atmospheric. Let's uh, create a fabulous short film. Dang, so many, uh, so many trainers in here. Oh, hold on. I outspeed Leech Life. It'll take over half. Mmm, the glorious HP. Didn't even have to use a potion, buddy. So, you know, let's think of, like, other Pokemon with four times weaknesses that could have, like, really great attacks. Hmm. What about... What about... What about Golem? You know, that has a quad weakness to grass and water. Hmm, what could it benefit from? Well, it's really slow, and its attack, while it's good, it could be better. So what if it got, like, a move that... I, I don't know. It's like the physically offensive version of Quiver Dance. But it's like a Geomancy, too. So... You use the move, it increases your attack by two, your speed by two, and probably your defense by two, but uh, it already has a pretty decent defense. Anyways, you know, what if it had a move like that? You know, like, Diamond Eyes. Ooh. Oh my god, and, and Golem would change form with that too. Oh, we get like a Diamond Body. Oh, that'd be so cool! Uh, I think I'm on to something there. Hey, what do you all think? And what other Pokemon that has like four times weaknesses or, you know, it's just otherwise booty. How do you think they can be made better? Please leave your thoughts about that in the comments below. Oh my god, like freaking diamondized golem. 
you know, change its form to be all pretty. Double speed, double attack. Uh, that would just be so cool. Cut! Of course, I think I get banned to Ubers, too. Okay, anyways, um... Can't really get out of here. Is there any way out of here? What if I go to the left? Yep, here we go. More trainers. I just heard this new song from the Visboo region. Want to hear it? Visboo? Visboo? Rocker Beldum. No, that's a Pokemon! You're not a Beldum. No, you silly goose. Let's see. Other four times a week Pokemon. Well, I definitely think if, like, Moltres had Drought, that would make it incredibly viable. Especially because, you know, it wouldn't have the stats of Mega Charizard, but you wouldn't have to Mega Evolve either. Oh, wait. Um, actually, I think I'll keep Joel in. Because I really want to want it to evolve into a Parasect. I need power on my team. I just need that power, because th this game, this game, y'all. Let's see, well, other four times a week Pokemon, like, you have water ground types, which, well, they really only have one weakness, so they don't, they, they don't need to be buffed. That's unfortunate. Joe! Oh, no, 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 you had to be a big shot, didn't ya? Ah! Oh my god, this guy is so perfect! And oh, oh, I'm here! Well. Color me surprised. And I really don't want to try to get back. Back here, so, um, just go ahead and use a Paralyzed Heal. And I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Freddy. It's l l l l l l l Larry! Again, every time I- every time I try to, um, save state, that happens. It's so weird. Anyways, it looks like a pink-haired Flannery here. Haruko. Ah! You must be Loba! My trainers have been warning me you're strong! Unfortunately, I can't battle you just yet. I need you to do a favor for me- What? You see, there have been rumors lately that there is something nasty at the bottom of Solar Caverns and I'd like you to investigate. When you come back, I'll fight you. Is that okay? Sure? Loba! You haven't been accepting this bu shit before. Why are you doing it now? Okay, well, I just wasted a Paralyze Seal, but... Eh, that's okay. Uh, so, uh, dang it, how the hell do I get out of here? Let's see. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, I have another Pokemon uh, that could use a buff. Pelipper. Yeah, like, you know, it's four times a week to electric, and it's just. Not good, usually. You know, but I get the impression it's a very defensive mon. So what if... Like... I, I don't know. It, it had an ability that... When it used... When you use stockpile, it would like double the no no that'd be that'd be way too OP. <sighs> I don't know I don't know. Yeah, if you need a Pokemon to focus on, citizens definitely focus on Pelipper because I'd be really interested to see what you all come up with. All right, well let's let's go in the Granite Cave, Solar Caverns. 
Whew, I barely made it out of there alive. There's something down there, kid. Something real nasty. I don't even want to think about it. There it is again. Whatever it is, I'm getting closer. Uh, do I have balls? I have 19 Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs. Which, unfortunately, they are Pokeballs. So, yeah. Hombone? The fuck is this thing? Okay, well... It looks like it'll be a rock type. So I guess I'll go out into um, Scrappy-Doo here. Okay, that's Hyper Cutter. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna sand attack your face. Ha! Alright, so I'll go ahead and bite. And bite again. No crit! No crit! Aw, you have an orange berry. Tackle it. Yeah, it's a rock type. Tackle it. <laughs> Tackle it. There we go. Now we'll just go out on the base because I, I don't really think it can do anything to base. <laughs> I just love those droopy eyes. Like seriously, seriously, I gotta fight this piece of. Shit. Looks like a giant turd with a claw. Like someone just swallowed a crab hole and pooped it out. Alright, so I caught the Hombone. Add to the Pokedex. Um, the rock skin Pokemon. Hombone lies there and takes blows all day long. It absorbs the energy of the hits and stores it up. It's ener this energy can be unleashed with certain magic. Magics? So, you look like a brown, that, that claw looks like a beak too. So, I think I'm gonna call you Beakman. Beakman! Right, let's, let's take a look at this thing. Like, what is this? I mean, I assume it's... Well, I mean, of course it's a Pokemon that was added to this game. Speaking about uh, Pokemon that's quad weak to stuff. Um... I guess that's cool? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm only gonna give Scrappy-Doo one of my potions. No super potion for you! That roar, there it is again. It seems somehow familiar. Alright, let's... Nah, I'm not gonna save state. I think I'm good. Sundance Rock. Can I actually go up? Can I actually get up that thing? Now, here's something I actually might want to add to my team. A freaking Hariyama. I can, I can teach Ice Punch, too. I, I actually really like that idea. Let's go ahead and catch it. Oh, crap, 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 crap! Guts. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> we good, y'all. Right, anyways, actually, a Leech Life uh, should not kill it. Because it is resisted. Oh yeah, I can do another one. Makuhita! You're mine! <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I remember, I remember, at the beginning of this LP, I said I was only gonna, like, catch one Pokemon per area. 
you know, just kind of like a general rule. But, you know, I've, I've kind of given up my encounter for a lot of areas. And honestly, I was just catching that other one. The whatever the hell it was again. Um, just out of curiosity. Makuhita is tenacious and will keep getting up and attacking its foe however many times it is knocked down. Um, every time it gets back up, this Pokemon stores more energy in its body for evolving. Interesting. Uh, why is it brown? So I got a really stupid idea for a name. Like, you know how it's Tubby? It's supposed to be a sumo res wrestler and... You know, if you think about it, its head looks like a, a wrapped lunch bag, like, you know, what, you know, Japanese travelers might, uh, might use when they're traveling around and stuff. So, I'm gonna name it Luncheon. Okay, I can't go up there yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this item here, and... Yeah, I think I need to call it an episode right here, so thank you! very much citizens for watching this episode. You remember the whole liking and subscribing thing, and if you don't, I'll find you. And I will. Do nothing, because it's a totally free country. You can like if you want, and don't like if you don't like. That's cool. It's all good. It's all good. And with all of that said, thanks again for watching, and this has been President Vocelli, signing off. Thanks for watching, citizens. To stay up to date on my content, be sure you're subscribed to me and following me on Twitter and or Facebook, links to which are in the description below. If you liked that video, be sure you click on that like button because hashtag logic. And if you are feeling charitable, consider donating to Extra Life, which is a group that gives all donations to the Children's Miracle Network, which is a charity that helps fund equipment and treatments for kids. You can find a link to that in the description below. And with all of that said, thanks again for watching, and this has been President Vocelli, signing off.